All righty. You want me to exactly reply to what I'm going to say? No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? Fuck no, baby! That's a new one told story. A New Untold Story, episode 399. And we Hold are- up. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you got the wrong number, buddy. You're kidding me, man. Seems as if that chick at the bar slid you made up math because she wasn't feeling you. And it wasn't even because you were playing Pokemon Go when everyone else was vibing to snooze by SZA. <laughs> she actually fucks with Pokemon. She beat Fire Red and Leaf Green. Wow. In three days, only using Mudkip. <laughs> no. Be the dead or Abuela's beach house in Baja. Fum- <laughs> fumbled a Latin queen. Fumbled a Latina. Adios, see ya. <laughs> um, and it wasn't because of the gluten-free IPAs <laughs> or the bootleg Birkin bag filled with board games and ninja <laughs> knives. She actually thought that was delightfully tacky. <laughs> um... Yeah, it was something more deep-seated than that. Oh, by the way. (laughs) Oh, by the way, this is American Indian Republican candidate Nikki Haley. Mm -hmm. I don't even want your bitch-ass vote. I mean, I'm with your boy Maresh right now. We're at Diwali rehearsal. He's saying he doesn't fuck with you either. (laughs) Jesus Christ. All right, yeah. Um, oh, in my head, it was, was was that the alphabet somehow? What was... Uh, yeah, uh, I was like... A lot of alliteration. A lot of, like, the wrong... You said the wrong number, and I was like, oh, I'm the dude that you texted, or the girl. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. That was beautiful. Way. Diwali practice? You have to practice for Diwali? I'm sure. You need to rehearse something. I don't know. Diw- Diwali's their Christmas? Let's see if that yeah. slow-ass computer can... What is I had to I had to rehearse for a quinceanera I was a part of. That what were you doing? I was in the court. Really, I did, which I, is like the bridal party. I didn't grow up next to anybody who would have a quinceanera. The victory of light over darkness, good over evil, and knowledge over ignorance. That's a beautiful holiday. Mm-hmm. They, they do the colorful festivities. They, I always wanted to go to the like paint, the colorful thing, the but whole... then I, I I have no desire to go to India yet. I would. Yeah, yeah. I would. Fuck it. I think they have beaches. I wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> they definitely do. Yeah, it's yeah. on the ocean, but mm-hmm. I don't know if it's Big like. Big time. I don't know if you'd want to lay the towels out on the beaches. <laughs> hey. What? No, nothing. Toilet paper, maybe. Um, I I wanted to go to India when the cosmic barber was still alive. When he would suck the bad energy out of you. He was like in the back of a car. He's like. <laughs> Relax, and then he would like rub oil on you and beat the fuck out of your scalp. This is the guy who died. Yeah, Cosmic Barber died. Sucked. Have you guys done anything like that recently? Hmm. Like a like a what? Like a spiritual like wellness a, journey? Like a, yeah, like I have. Um, I went to a peppermint steam room with a cold plunge in the center. That's amazing. Thank you. But cold plunge and then peppermint air makes the nipples harder than ever. Was this, was this like a cold plunge that was very cold? Uh, was, 45. So it was therapeutic or? It was in it. It yeah. was fun. Yeah. It was fun. Why? What? Did you do something? I got a pedicure and then a facial. Yeah? I rec- I highly recommend the facial. I got a facial for Christmas. It was super <laughs> relaxing. Yeah. I. Uh, what do they do? To, like 50% of my face is beard. They rub it in a way that it lulled me into like a fantastical trance. Really? Yes. Like I was in uh, the neighborhood of Make Believe for Mr. Rogers. Was it a couple's facial? It was just me. You ran it, solo to she, the facial. The couple, the, uh, my girlfriend went too, but it That's wasn't- That's a couple's. We, oh, it wasn't that she was dual rubbing up. Oh, right. Yeah. So yeah, she- Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, the mm-hmm. one she hand was, on her. Yeah, clearly two, yeah, using both hands. And I, I was out, out like a light. You fell asleep? Yeah. I did a pedicure and it was like in a massage chair. Water was too hot and it was just the vibration feature on the massage chair. I wanted kneading. 
I like a kneading massage chair, like in a sharper image. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. K-N-E-I-D, like you're making pizza dough. I've heard about that, yeah. I'm sure certainly you've sat in one. Yeah. But no, I I haven't in a little bit done anything to better myself. Why? No, I think that's the move. Now that I got the facial, I was and I was relaxed for the rest of the day. When did you get it? Sunday. You're glowing a little bit. I don't know if that, I don't think it works. I think. Do they pop your I think face routines are mostly scams. Yeah, they that hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but Did it was the, the most, it was like you? the best doze off ever. It was like laughing gas. Did they use electricity on you? I don't know. They hit me with electricity. When I, I love dozing off. We were talking about you? that. Yeah, they yeah. did. T- they t- best sensation. You were right. Mm-hmm. I was uh, in the neighborhood of Make Believe on the trolley with Prince Tuesday. <laughs> and then Lady <laughs> Elaine held mm-hmm. it hostage. Held what hostage? The train? The, the, the trolley. trolley. Yeah. Lady Elaine, she was like... You can't leave until you tell me six minus four. And I was like, fuck, well, I typically would know this, but I'm so out of it. I can't. You don't know six I just couldn't six. figure it out. So the land of make-believe was the Mr. Rogers land? Mm-hmm. Like the, the castle land that was puppets? Yeah, but the, 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 they never actually went, right? Do they go into the land? I think he, he was Am like I walking it was around with, with it Lamb like Chop. A... You remember fucking Lamb Chop? No. Yes. A character? Yeah. That was her own show. It was a woman in Lamb Chop. What is Lamb Chop? Lamb Chop. Every, lamb Chop now is predominantly just a dog toy, but now the, the IP is used. Lamb Chop Show. I don't remember this. Yes, you do. Is it PBS? Lamb Chop's Play Along, dude. Oh, you're thinking of Wishbone. No, no, no. It's, it's one of the kooky classics. This looks like it's from the 70s. I would watch this religiously. But what was that woman's name? Was her name Sherry? Yeah, Sherry. <laughs> This looks horrifying. No one was watching this. I was watching tons of Lamb Chop, and I bet you there's going to be a lot of people coming out. No dudes were watching I was Lamb watching, Chop. Dude, I'm a well-adjusted guy. I was watching hella Lamb Chop. You guys remember this? No oh, one remember. Wow. Yeah, oh, oh for 4. I refuse to watch Mr. Rogers, too. And then I watched this, and I watched this movie, Journey to the Beginning of Time, and those were the two things I ever watched. I'm sure, have you guys seen that? that sounds I've never even familiar. heard of that. It was these kids that went to a museum and talked to a medicine man and he sent them down a tunnel and they went to Dinosaur World. This was my favorite movie. See, this looks cool. Yeah, it's cool. That's cool. What year did that come out? Yeah, I don't remember this. What network 95. was it? That came out in 95. Oh, 1955. Okay, yeah, I was watching that shit. <laughs> what? The- yeah, dude. I didn't have a lot of VHSs. I had that and Sherry, Sherry Lewis's Lamb Chop. But you were watching TV shows like Spider Man. I didn't like Spider Man. Power no. Rangers. I liked Angry Beavers. I liked Angry Beavers. What's that? Daggett and Morbid. I hated Angry Beavers actually. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I didn't like it. I was thinking of Cat Dog. That Cat Dog weirded me out. That's why your wind's low. <laughs> That was it. You guys laughed. Fuck off. Yeah, Kat, you didn't know. Did you know Winslow was their their mouse butler, or did you just laugh? Yeah, don't Kyle don't say. It. Don't fucking just laugh like no, that. I, yeah, I implied, that made me feel. I implied he was a character in Cat Dog. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. Anyways, I, now though, I'm watching The Bachelor. Hanging out with Zach got me interested in the show. Kind of am too. Uh, but this new guy, Joey. So you know who's gonna win, probably. Why? I feel like I. It's, it's a, there's a resounding leader. I didn't think so. Oh, yeah. I think the blonde girl with Lyme disease. Oh, yeah. Lyme disease with the cochlear implant. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But then there's. I, I saw the the any girl could win. He he hasn't kissed him all yet. That's when you but know. I, the I think he, did he. Br- I saw a graphic that he got a lot of kisses. Yeah, but not as much as Zach. Not I don't think I got eight Zach, kisses. Thank but God. God damn, we better bite our tongues. Uh, we've been getting destroyed on the Bachelor subreddit. Bachelor Nation I, yeah. doesn't like us. I thought we were a friend of the I'm, program. That actually destroyed me. I, hated I thought them. that episode would consolidate our respective can you audiences. Pull, can you pull I that up? They would love us. Yeah, so the Bachelor subreddit, I guess, lampooning us, calling us bros and oh, disgusting. That, that's mm-hmm. a compliment. Uh, All right, listen. Some of you still aren't buying tickets to events via game time. Some of you aren't going to events. So here's what I'm going to do. DM me the receipt of the event you're going to and I'll uh and I'll, I'll rate it 1 to 10 based on how much I would like to do it. So that's a little treat aside from the deal you get from game time. It's the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. I'm using it to go to 
a Bulls game here soon. I'm using it to go to my massage tomorrow. Nah, nah, I'm not. But if I could, I would. If I mean, hey, maybe they if I could get a game time massage, I would cancel the current one at pause and do that. But listen, you got to go to events and you might as well use game time because that's going to be the best deal, the cheapest deal, and you're helping us. Last minute tickets, flash deals, zone deals, easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event in your area. They're obsessed, and I've talked to them personally, three of them individually. They are obsessed. It's their passion with finding ways to help you save money on tickets. They have deals on tickets right up to the start of the event, so it can be spontaneous. And even an hour after it starts, so you can miss half of it if that's your thing. It's the place to find last-minute seats, find exclusive flash deals, and sponsored deals on tickets, football, basketball, baseball, concerts, comedy, theater, and more. Game time. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. Download the game time app, create an account, and use code UNTOLD. For $20 off your first purchase, terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code UNTOLD and send me where you're going so I can rate it. GameTime.co. Oh, it's GameTime.co. They dropped the, the, the M. Yeah, yeah they dropped that the M. tedious M. Okay, here it is, yeah. I'm intimidated by these fans. They're pr- the fans are probably very similar to Barstool fans. Um, yeah. What really is the clip that they put in there? The 11 kisses. Oh, yeah. Talking about the 11 kisses. She's whining. Oh, this She's clip. Gone. Oh, no wonder. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, wait, they the sucked. Fuck? Yeah, this was one-on-one. you being a douchebag yeah. as a bit. Where's my one-on-one? In your head, you're just like, holy shit. <laughs> Is it kiss time yet? <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Oh, they didn't fuck with that. Oh, I could see what. Wait, what is this? I listened to this whole thing. These guys are hilarious. Oh, what? Okay. Well, the the yeah. BRGs came in there. Get the fuck out, Barstool boys. The guy with the uh, line. Oh, thanks, oh, yeah, thanks guys. Thank you for helping. Off rip, it was an onslaught, and then as time passed, well, reinforcements came. Let, I don't want to be rude to them. I want to they win them very back. Very good comedians. Me too. Twenty-five upvotes on ve- not very good comedians. Men give me such the ick. I mean, that's fair. We deserve. Yeah, we, we more. deserve. I deserve. You more deserve of that the ick. Especially. Well, I was laughing too hard at it, so yeah. I, I I probably came off worse. Yeah, that wasn't funny. Um, it, was. it was. I hate it how I'm yeah. somehow privy to this kind of dude combo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll take that. Oh, are we paying to be on the sub? Are we paying to be on the sub? This is definitely not doing Zach any favors. No, he's the man. <laughs> Let's see. I would rather live with 15 cats than one of these dude bros. And I bet it would smell better, right? I'm definitely too old for any of these men. I'm sure my age are equally ooh, but ooh, I don't get that. Ooh, we're getting a lot of oohs. I hate, listen, dude bro is, is something that I've always wanted to be. And I've never even been accused of that. We just got called dude bro. That might be the first time I've ever been called a dude bro. All right. Yeah. Actually, I kind of like this. Yeah, I know way too much about Belize to be a dude bro. Thanks <laughs> for the Atlas. You're welcome, man. How did, yes. did you pry? Did you look into it? Oh yeah, spend so much time on it. Mm-hmm. It's because it's everything that I would look up on like Wikipedia, just in a more condensed, digestible format. Welcome to books, man. I am into books. <laughs> well, atlases. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, is there anything else? Are we good? I'll look here. Okay. Well, let's talk in a, in a respectful way about the Bachelor. I'm sure the, is the dude. Uh, he's intelligent. Uh, I think a lot of people said he's not handsome. I think he's handsome as hell. Uh, I need him in my crew. I think he might be the world's dumbest guy. He's dumb. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, he, he was a pike at Westchester. Oh, is this another one? Yeah, I so, can't so see This that. is fantastic interview with Zach. Oh, okay. But there's 61 comments. Ooh. Fuck. <laughs> What's this one? I can't read it. So is this just Zach interviewing with a pig of a guy? Got it. Which clip is this? Uh, this is I think how we would do on a show like this. I think you guys would do what? When I'm you the, uh, are you I feel the like I'm the pig. <laughs> do you think, like, why do you think that would that happen on the back on the show? Like a girl oh. is crying. Oh, uh, no, don't why we don't post this. <laughs> oh, whoa. That it's was the, actually what about you, la- you? I had you, no idea what I was doing. I was girl. trying to make that work and uh, I just got stuck. And, and yeah, and it was a know, long I got marooned in, in the middle of that bit. Yeah, dude, you were I don't know what I was You were marooned for a while. I know. Yeah. Yeah, this is the Strokes clip. Yeah, that's... Oh, yeah. yeah. So it was you, oh, well, well deserved then. Yeah, wait, yeah, that's... Um, yeah, I deserve more criticism <laughs> and... Yeah. 
post oh, who pin. these men are. I Calm feel like I'm having a stroke pin. listening to these idiots talk about these strokes. <laughs> oh, Rude probably yeah. smells like ass. Does Nick and KB are Does. comedians? Some nah. Disgusting barfo. 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 Is that a bar stool? No, like no, enemies? it's like barfo, or, oh, like throw barf. up. Yeah, that's dated. This is a big mountain of ooh. I see three pairs of unwashed legs. They can see my legs. <laughs> Unwashed legs? The hell? Oh, we're wearing pants. <laughs> I actually never wash gross, my gross, legs. Gross, gross, gross. Ooh, I'm sorry. The vibes of this podcast reek. What? There's a lot of smell. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of, of smell. Odorous a lot of odorous. Anything? Uh... Hey, ladies, just drawing her 37 <laughs> feet away from guys like this. Ah! Oh, Kyle, you're a pig. Zach is such a typical barstool bro. I, I doubt that man has ever had a woman in hysterics because of his strokes. Do you oh, want, do you want... that's Cappadocia, turkey head. <laughs> oh. Wait, guy in the glasses being the voice of reason. All right. Of course. That's gotta I be think me. these are all aimed at me. Yeah, dude. Yeah. You just uh, said yeah. you would moan if your strokes put a girl in hysterics. <laughs> yeah, I was kidding. Obviously. All right. Oh, they're Britney Spears gifting you. This is awesome. Yeah, I've never I heard don't. of this podcast. It's one of the lesser known Barstool Bro Hangout podcasts. True, true. I can smell ball sack just watching this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> what the F is this guy? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I kind of have the itch to be lampooned by more audiences. Right. That was kind of yeah. like a fetish. Dude, uh, so I just made a fresh Reddit for this computer here. Oh, nice. We should use it to infiltrate. Yeah, what can we? What's a big fandom we could say something about? I think we stick to the Bachelor. Okay. Yeah. Well, the yeah. new Bachelor, I th he's I think he's a little bit of a dummy, but I like him. I want him in my crew. Bad, Joey. He's got real wide, wide, wide thumbs. Because every time a girl cries, he like wipes his wide fucking thumb up across her cheek, and he goes, <laughs> "Take your time." And they love it. And I was kidding about watching it. You, you did. I watched did, it. The whole. Uh -huh. I saw some clips. The so. He's got the widest thumb. It looks like a big toe. And um, he just rubs it so grossly across their cheek. And um, I probably like that. He had the girls fight with paint for like a challenge to win his heart. And he like looks at the camera. He's like, we got ourselves a good old fashioned paint fight. I was like, you can't say that for like a thing that's, <laughs> that's never not a been thing. Done. It's good old fashioned. Age old How trend. do you win a paint fight? Oh, wait, that one made it too. the whole video. Yeah. Oh, fuck. But, but this one, we didn't get roasted. Oh, OK. Um. People are just confused about the name Anus Podcast. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. Men on the show sharing zins with each other. Oh, yeah. The fantasy suite with Rachel. It, well, I don't know what that means. Neither do I. Okay. Yeah, so just, yeah. But that's it. I think. Three Can posts. I see a picture of this new guy? I don't know what he looks yeah, like. Yeah, he looks very, he's a very Italian uh, Jersey guy. New Bachelor Joey. But I need Joey Graza Grazia oh. Grazia Dai. That doesn't sound Italian. But you got to take a look at his fucking thumbs, dude. He's always wiping cheek. Yeah, with, show me his thumbs. I think he kind of gets off on like clearing, he loves, he clearing likes the tears. Size of his thumb. Oh, oh yeah, I think he does like the size of his thumbs. Mm -hmm. Ah, damn, can't find it. Oh, he's well. good looking. He's a good looking guy. People yeah. don't think he is. Brandon said he's not. Oh, Je uh, 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 Rudy. Biggest slut move of all time that you've done. What? You posted the Stanley Cup to your story. First off, it's not my, the hockey cup. It's my Stanley it's Cup. Yeah. The the trending cup with And I looked over and you It was in between his legs where his cock my is. Stanley Cup and we're taking a Snapchat with it. He no, put it in between his legs where his cock is. Yep. Yeah, what did you what did he put? He what put the, the caption, cap can't believe I bought two of these. <laughs> Double lie. Yeah. Didn't buy one. I <laughs> Did, have you gotten be, responses? You I, did, I saw you it. cook. Like that's the that's the biggest whore move of all time. Yeah, that's. I used to be much more of a whore, but then when I sometimes when I see an opportunity, I just it's just the can't believe I got two yeah. of these on accident. Yeah, no, it's just sometimes you just see the chance for fishing and you go. Yeah, disgusting. It's not disgusting. Are, are women calling you out? Yep, we got a couple bites. No, no, I mean, call, <laughs> got a couple I meant calling bites. you out like you're disgusting. You're a pig. No. They're not. Oh, yeah. So, what, yeah, what do they say? I got one already. It says, pick me boy vibes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. 
<laughs> Rudy, definitely. You have your, um, I saw it. You have your, uh, your avatar on the Snapchat map. <laughs> what? You're wearing do? a beanie and Botiaga shades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. No, yeah. You got a bitmoji, bro? I yeah. Think my bitmoji. Dude, Rudy updates his bitmoji. <laughs> yeah. I think my bitmoji has a shirt that says Thug Life. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, Rudy. I, I, I hate that it's going to work for you, too. I never dressed my bitmoji because I was, like, scared to, like, customize it. So I'm just a green guy. You were fearful. Yeah. You were yeah. fearful. Oh, I'm, I don't I don't even think I have. I have Snapchat downloaded, but no notifications. I just have it for my fantasy group chat. Because some of the boys have Androids. Best. We're 30 plus. KB, who are you Snapchatting, bro? I don't use that. Yeah. I do not use that. Uh, I saw your score go up by two. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> Dude, yeah. I had, a, Dude, I had to keep a streak alive. I uh, <laughs> when, when Snapchat first became a thing, I was in college and I didn't have an iPhone. I had a, uh, an, a Windows phone. I got it because it looked like a Pokedex. It was red. Mm -hmm. And... I had to use the Snapchat like web app on my phone to snap people. It was a huge pain in the ass. I would like log in every time and it really, really fucking distorted and like stretched my face. So I, no pussy, no pussy from it. Yeah. No, I know people who've gotten pussy from their avatar. Oh, yeah. from just the avatar? Just the avatar. Just a bit. I know you were sending half face so boards to people. Yeah. And no, I would purposely get in the car and drive on the highway to do a... Or really fast. <laughs> like I'm driving, so it's not, I didn't like try too hard to take the pic. <laughs> be like 30 miles away from home. I would have, every once in a while move the camera so I was blurry, so you couldn't like if yeah, I wasn't looking was good. Minute. I would like, do I, that as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. hard to capture those. You gotta try a couple times. Yeah. You ever send one uh, with your cock in it? No. And then then you get the replay notification because you know you're getting clowned. It sounds like you have. No. <laughs> No, I'm not sending my cock over Snapchat. What do you send it over? Snail mail. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just post it. Good old fashioned. Mm -hmm. mm, snail mail. Yeah. Yeah. No, every time you see one of those trucks that say oversized load, they're sent, they're <laughs> bringing oh my, my dick God. pic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how I yeah. send mine, dude. Yeah. It's the, tethered the, down like a wind turbine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what's inside it. Yeah. Yeah. The Peterbilt 389. I <laughs> yeah. That's what lug. <laughs> the twin turbine's a Trojan horse for your penis. Yeah. It's on the inside. Mm, yeah. It's just a, a, a Polaroid, a real long Polaroid. <laughs> um, oh, episode 391. 391. Oh, I was semi close. Pretty close. 391. If you add up those digits, what do you get? 13. The 2003 critically acknowledged drama. 13. Featuring sinful seventh graders who dabbled with drugs, sex, crime, and self-harm. Tongue piercing. Starring Evan Rachel Wood. Whoa. The Didn't robotic it. farm whore from Westworld. <laughs> that was her title, yeah. Mm -hmm. That movie... Uh, it's, uh, we don't talk about it enough. <laughs> the movie 13? The movie 13. I watched it on a first date with a, my first girlfriend. I, I, I meant we do talk about it oh, more yeah, than Yeah, we talk about it more than any world, podcast ever. Three. Watched it on a first date with my first girlfriend who broke up with me uh, because I was afraid to kiss yeah, her. Yeah, afraid to kiss her. Mm -hmm. And especially, she, she wanted to watch 13. She wanted to kiss. <sighs> she did. And I, our, I am scratching, clawing, begging, pleading for the 13 Cinematic Universe to release a sequel or remake. 14? I think it would, you have to adjust for maturity. And Actually, what we should do is we should watch just every numbered movie as if they're in the same universe. We can do that. Is there a movie called One? There's got to be. 13. There's a 13. There's a 7. There's a, there's a 20, 21. One three and a half. All right. Yeah, let's do a number movie. Watch along. Yes, Mr. Todd. Yes, Mr. Todd. Well, that's <laughs> that's Sweeney Todd. Yeah, the I, demon I was barber thinking of Fleet of, Yeah, Street. I was thinking of uh, Sydney Sweeney? Sweeney toddler. Sydney Sweeney plays a preschooler with D cups. <laughs> you were just thinking that? Yeah. Oh, well, I've been thinking about it, but it's not called Sweeney toddler. That's too hacky. It's called Bebe Cherry. <laughs> Bebe Cherry. Bebe Cherry, which is Sweeney toddler in French. Oh, okay. Mm. That's good. Yeah. And is that the, is that the premise? Of she, Sydney Sweeney she is a toddler, a but she's in her own, she's she's in her adult body. She's played like she did in Euphoria. She played a high schooler despite being twenty plus. But yeah, she's playing a preschooler in her adult with body. her yes. double D breasts, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what's the what's the premise of the movie? Um, <laughs> you just that was like the, <laughs> it's uh, that was like that's that's well, that was the guiltiest um. 
Big titty tot, big titty tot, big all around. How are you only three, my dear? Well, I'm actually four. But 34D. Oh my, oh me, oh my, oh me. Something like that. Mm. <laughs> Did you just watch Sweeney Todd recently? I watched the songs. Yeah. <laughs> big titty tot, big titty tot, big all around. What a nice round face. Uh, Bachelor Nation is yeah. good. Oh, you're that done for it. You're going to that a lot. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, wait, can we it's post? It's tit devouring tit, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> but who are we to deny her in here? So, yeah, I think like Leo's so, playing the teacher. <laughs> They're trying to admit her. <laughs> this. <laughs> They're trying to admit her to the The school. audience of this has to be oh. very narrow. Yeah. A uh, mook from the burner. Can you just post mm. Kyle singing that to the Bachelor subreddit and just be like, this fucking dude again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you only four, my dear? Well, I'm actually three, but 34D. Oh my, oh me, there's more to you than meets the eye. But all I can think of is London Pie. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, let's, uh, let's, this is our next, this is the next basketball shoes. Uh, we'll make a trailer <laughs> no, no. for it. Well, who's the teacher? Um, the male preschool teacher, Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Who can do Goldblum? Yeah, I, I can learn a Goldblum. Yeah, all right, just a real. Uh, yeah, uh, he always says um and yeah, right? He always goes. I mean, her breasts are—they're incredible. I think that you might. And we're trying to admit her into a our daycare. Okay, but I think he treats her like the whiplash uh, music teacher. Like he's real uh, mean with her. Okay, and he's <laughs> is he like raising this to like for her yeah. push up bra? Yeah, yeah. Yes. bigger. Yeah. Yes, a little bit, a little bit tighter now. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that was, yeah, that was okay, good. Okay, so what possibly we put on? Uh, okay, we'll have Goldblum as the. But they're uh, it's still Tim Burton esque. I want them to be like real pale. Yeah, and okay. sickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what's the name of this film? A uh, bebecherie. Why do you want? It? Why don't we just? You think Sweeney Toddler's too hacky for a movie about? Uh, <laughs> for, now, yeah. Let me remind yeah. you of the plot. <laughs> yeah, the name is too hacky for this toddler with yeah. <laughs> this adult woman playing a toddler with D cups. Yeah. yeah. Well. <laughs> and then, is there a twist? Is there like a? Um, is it? Does it follow along with Sweeney Todd? I don't know the plot of that shit. He's a barber that they cuts turn, necks and then he turns them to pies. To, into, yeah, it turns them to pies. Yeah, uh, I guess something with pies. The t like, I don't know. Maybe there's someone trying to use the tits for pie. I don't know. <laughs> He's trying to make titty pie. Titty pie. That's all he's, I can think about. He's harvesting. <laughs> yeah. Titty pie. There maybe there's a better Tim Burton movie to put her in. Oh no. Nightmare but, Before Christmas. Edward Scissorhands. Batman vs. Robin or Batman um, Robin big tit <laughs> instead of big fish <laughs> <laughs> yeah wait, let's just, yeah. yeah we'll do both big tit yeah yeah the dad uh, uses his wedding re ring to catch the biggest tit in the, <laughs> in the country what is what yeah. the plot he, of that he uses his wedding ring as bait to catch a big fish yeah he uses his wedding ring to catch a big tit okay yeah big tit she can play an, a, an adult in this one that's nice of you <laughs> <laughs> you were that was so reluctant yeah, of you. Yeah. yeah. The day his son was born, he used his ring to catch an enormous tit. <laughs> <laughs> and Matthew McGrory plays both tits. He plays Matthew McGrory's big ass yeah, plays like both a, titties. Like a Lindsay Lohan parent oh, trap role. Yes. He'll play both titties. Who the fuck is this guy? He w was the biggest uh oh, yeah, seven we've, six. We've we talked about Matthew McGrory on like nausea. episode two of Anus. Whoa. Okay, go back to uh, uh, Tim Burton movies. Okay. Okay. So, um, oh, Dumbo, Jumbo, Jumbo, Jumbo a baby yeah. elephant with gigantic, gigantic titties. Yeah. Um. Uh. Ed Wood. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Beetle tits. It's 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 E D. <laughs> Wood. It's about a guy who can't get hard <laughs> until he sees Sidney Sweeney's yeah. titties. Um, <laughs> e.D. Woods, Sweeney tits. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Sleepy Hollow. Charlie um, and the Chocolate Factory. Sweeney and the... 
Titty Factory. Uh, what, what other names for titties are there? Jugs. Uh, Beetlejuice. <laughs> big titty tot. Big titty tot. <laughs> he hasn't really done many movies, has he? That's a good amount. Is it? <sighs> Thought he did more. I think he, uh, I actually saw a video the other day, someone talking about how in like the new CGI age, he's not uh, very well accustomed because mm. he's very practical. Yeah, because he's using stop motion and shit. Oh yeah, those titties in like claymation would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not awesome, but it would be, I love claymation, the yeah, titties themselves. It would be uh, indifferent. Interesting, mm -hmm. yeah. It would be interesting, for sure. Um, <laughs> Pittsburgh? Oh yeah, the stand-up. Heard nothing but great reviews. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was fun, man. So you got to do it more. I got to do it tonight. You have to, oh yeah, tonight. But, but the thing is, like, dates. I'm doing the same stuff. No, that's the the beauty. That's the point of traveling. I'm not. I've done. I've done it here before. No, I'm saying you go to a different city. And it was it. exhausting. I don't know how Mook or Sass do it, man. Like, yeah, that is. I was exhausted after that weekend. Bitch. After yeah. talk, doing fucking twelve minutes of talking, Mook will do fucking twenty. Sass will do forty five. It's insane. And then sleeping in just a hotel. Getting up, doing nothing until seven o'clock. But was there like a rush about it, like an adrenaline, like after day two, you're like, all right, I got the hang of it. Let's let's roll. Um, Less pressure. Let's have fun up there. Try I, some new shit out. I feel like Friday, that was the day for you to be like, okay, I'm back. Let's do it. But Saturday, you were like, I'm gassed. Saturday, yeah. I was gassed. Friday ended. I was my first, uh, not bad crowd, but just less lively crowd because I think it didn't sell out. So they had did like five dollar tickets. So it was people that had, mm. didn't know anything. And that was a real eye opener because a lot of the times it's barstool fans, right? Mm -hmm. And so when it wasn't, it was bachelor. Fans. I wasn't quite good. So <laughs> well, that's part of the no, game. No, yeah. that, that was just crowds. A, that was a weird ass crowd. It was interesting, and Friday it was it was in a weird area of Pittsburgh that nobody goes to. It was right next to like a Carhartt store and a Dave and Buster's. Oh, but yeah, it was it was a fun it was a fun weekend. I just like you're packing up to go to Houston tomorrow. Uh, Friday. Yeah, I don't know how it's it's tiring. And then Denver mm -hmm. the following weekend. I might go up if you guys would have me in Madison. Oh yeah. my God, well, that'd be um, a perfect town. I wanted to talk to you guys about that because I'm supposed to be in Perth that weekend. Oh shit. I would like to move it. I'll let you move Perth. Like, yeah, I just think the weekend um, after. The weekend after? I'll let you move Perth to the, Perth to the weekend after, but there's going to be a punishment. <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not just going to be all with fun and games you're now. You're going to lose 24 hours in Perth. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. I want to go to Madison really bad. It's like a, one of the best clubs in the country. Yeah, we'll move Perth for you, but yeah, there there will be a punishment. I still want us all to go to Perth. I don't, man, at all. I know. And that's it's a such a long flight. Yeah, I know, but it's like for the, it's Australia. It's an adventure. It for sure is, but I'll go on my own You're time. You're going to Italy. Yeah. No qualms. That's way different. How? I'm going to the Coliseum and I'm going to be there for nine days. Not the Coliseum, but Italy. Yeah. I'm going to be having the freshest wines the Tuscany region has to offer. I've worked myself into a difficult negotiating position. There is no Rome in Australia. There's no Rome in Australia. Yeah. There, might, there might be. There's no Rome equivalent. Is there a city called Rome in Australia? In New York. There's Rome, New York? Yeah. The Australia is more my speed, I think. Rome, Roma, Queensland. There we go. Oh, there we go. That looks nice. Mm -hmm. I'll go there. What's the pop? Do you have an itinerary for Rome? Uh, yeah, first three days I'm going to be in like Rome. I want to see yeah. some old shit. Um, then I'm going to Florence. Dope. Yeah, that's my itinerary. That'll be a great trip. Thanks, man. Do you have a your own Hawaii? Yeah, I got to decide how I'm going to do it. I'm torn between Oahu and the Big Island. Oh, I haven't taken a vacation in. I guess that's yeah. ever. I don't think. Like I've never taken it in my adult life. I need never. I just. I've never taken. Get so comfortable either. in my own apartment. Yep. I'm gonna. I, I, I have a feeling gonna... myself to leave. Yeah. All right. I'm excited about this one. On a personal level, it's been the most effective for me. Um, talking about rocket money. Listen, do you ever feel? And I know you do. Do you ever feel like money is just flying out of your account and you have no idea where it's going? I did. Well, I know where it's going. It's all of those subscriptions, the random ones, $1, maybe 99 cents, $5, 4.99 and you forgot about it. 
Think about it. It's between streaming services, fitness apps, delivery services, parenting apps, endless. I was in so many that I forgot I ever paid for. Texas A&M, football forums, sub stacks, like erotica pages that I just paid the subscription for a quick gag and then completely forgot about it. Rocket Money. What? Well, OnlyFans too, dude. That'll catch up to you. Yeah, OnlyFans. That this, um, yeah, Rocket Mortgage, det- Rocket Money detects OnlyFans from, from 2020, 2019. You don't want those women anymore. There's a new <laughs> crop of women. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills. So when I do it, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. And if I see something I don't want, which was basically all of them, I can cancel it with a tap. I never have to get on the phone with customer service, which is my least favorite part. And this is, applies to you as well. No customer service, no waiting on hold. They'll even try to get you, oh, I didn't even know this. They'll try to get you a refund for the last couple months of wasted money and negotiate to lower your bills for you. Huge. That's huge, up to 20%. All you have to do is take a picture of your bill. Don't try to counterfeit it though. And Rocket Money takes, or try it and let me know how that goes. Psych, Psych City. And Rocket Money takes care of the rest. They have over 5 million users. Some responsible, some not even responsible, but this is so easy it doesn't even feel like a responsibility. Rocket Money has saved its members an average of $720 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. So again, stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash untold. That's rocketmoney.com slash unfold. Untold. Untold. Rocketmoney.com slash untold. They're really hitting that point. Rocketmoney.com slash untold. Can we, uh, do you know the music? Can you, can you like sing that song over the music? The song is Big Titty Tot, Big Titty Tot. That's all I have. Oh, what are the, oh yeah. Maybe we should watch the movie then. We should watch the movie. What else is there? Oh, should we address Bethany Hamilton? Bethany Hamilton. Yeah, I got the tweet. I don't know. Rip Curl, a famous surfing brand, Mm -hmm. have dropped Bethany Hamilton, who lost her arm in a shark attack, from their ad campaigns. Like She was the spokesperson. They have instead used transgender surfer Sasha Jane Lowerson to advertise women's surfing. Yeah, so Bethany is unhappy about it. That somebody else that had an appendage torn off is now the, the <laughs> spokesman for Riptide. Yeah, seamless it's transition. It's the same exact thing, yeah. A seamless transition, transition. <laughs> yeah. How, do we, how do we feel about this? Um, I feel bad for Bethany, but I mean, okay. Well, according to the new rule, a transgender woman is eligible to compete in a women's event in surfing by sustaining a testosterone level less than five nanomoles, mm. nanomoles, <laughs> nanomoles. I don't know per liter of blood for twelve months. So if she, I guess that's fair. I don't know. I mean, balancing on a board isn't just like a gender advantage, is it? I bet you the penis would act as a, uh, some sort of like pendulum. Yeah. (laughs) And she has one, like, it's way harder for her Uh to balance on a board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And paddling. Yeah. She probably just goes in a circle. Mm -hmm. But Bethany's vocal, like, uh, I don't know if she's like hostile, more like, hey, I don't think this is fair. Yes. Is that the only reason they cut her was to replace her? There's more, uh. Did they cut her pre or post? I would tweet? sponsor her. We should sponsor her. Reach out. <laughs> From rip curl to anus. That's good. That's good. That's mm-hmm. a that's a They're lateral dying brand. move. That's a lateral move. We're on the come up. We'll, huh. we'll sign Bethany Hamilton. We'll sign Bethany. And happy fifth birthday to my nephew, Henry. Henry, happy and fifth birthday. And shout out to Big Cat, who got him a Nighthawk electric go-kart. What? <laughs> and a basketball scholarship to Wisconsin. What? Yeah, 2037. Oh shit. Full ride. Does he know that your sister and her uh, does he, does he know that you uh, short? <laughs> he got the scholarship. It's in the yeah, ads. So it's signed, yeah. Really? So, yeah. So that's exciting. 
your little nephew's a badger. Yeah. That's incredible. That's him, Is yeah. your sister, was she thankful? Very much, yeah. For, more for the go-kart got, or the, the scholars? They got the hat at the preschool where... <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> The hat reveal at the preschool today. Yeah, where yeah, he's selecting his hat, selecting the Wisconsin hat. Yeah, anybody Proud else at that preschool? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> big titty top, big titty top, big all around. <laughs> yeah. I gotta work on some more lyrics. Let's just call it Sweeney Toddler. Sweeney Toddler. Yeah. Yeah, she's just. <laughs> but I think Baby Cherie would get like an Oscar nom. Yeah, right. Like the artist. Or mm -hmm. Is uh, <laughs> yeah. is Assad making a cameo? In this? Oh, mm. maybe we. If this goes well, we can expand the cinematic. Yeah, we universe. can have the universe bigger. Yeah, but right now this is just Sweeney and Goldblum, mm -hmm. and who else? Somebody's first acting role. Someone's first acting role. Yeah, I think okay. like Louis Tomlinson from One Direction mm -hmm. and Victor Wembanyama <laughs> and Victor Wembanyama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For scale. Yeah. For scale. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Victor's in the class. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these kids are getting mature. <laughs> and it's a sequel to 13. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, any new foods trending in your lives? New foods trending? Yeah, like right now it's jalapeno pimento cheese and cheesecake. I can mm. only eat like five things. That's right. Yeah, life sucks dick. Been looking at these cupcakes, look great. Can't. Every, uh, uh, free food every day for lunch. Can't. But you probably feel physically a lot better, internally a lot better. Or is that... I'm hungry, Do you man. think it's worth it? Yes. Yeah. I was feeling miserable, but yeah, I, I, I'm hungry all the time. You've shifted misery. Yes. From physical to mental. mental. Yeah. I've been mental. I've been no. under mental duress. <laughs> the, the, yeah. We'll always have issues. Mm -hmm. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, we will. Um, we got to do a team dinner soon. Yes. Read full time. Read full time. Mook got a promotion as well. Mook got a promotion as well. <laughs> Love it. Awesome. We'll do a yeah, team dinner. A lot of good restaurants. And then Vegas next week. We got Vegas next week. You got Shin Lim. I got Shin Lim. I got it for a day that we're not going to yeah, be there. Yeah, I won't be there, but yeah. you got me Shin Lim. We'll, we'll try to rework the ticket date. Leggy ass name. Shin Lim, yeah. yeah word to Wordle, yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. Shin Lim, that's like... <laughs> I'm trying to think of an equivalent uh, name. Um, Olna, uh, never mind. Bo, <laughs> like L. Ron Hubbard, L. Bo. <laughs> um, L. Bo... <laughs> Arm, arm. <laughs> Fuck, or elbow, shoulder, arm. Yeah. <laughs> God, oh, that's Jesus it. Christ. God, yeah. fucking oh, big today, talk. Big today, talk. Been a all around. How are you? Okay, <laughs> do it. Well, I'm actually three. <laughs> She's yeah. <laughs> oh, I um, I have a massage tomorrow, so I'm on a massage kick, obviously. And I had to call to schedule it. Oh, no. And they asked me, do you want it with a male or female? Yeah. And I was like, I, I don't like it. I don't like how you put it. <laughs> what do you mean? Because that, that felt gross. Because if you said female, they would think you're a sick I just hated answering that. Yeah, I would I rather just, them not like, ask. I'd, right. And she said, male or female? You went with male. Wait, I went with female. Really? What would you go with? Male. male. Wait, really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Did I fuck up? Yeah. Yeah. You sound like a pervert. Yeah. I know that's exactly how I felt. Yes. But I didn't. I... Now I'm on you guys would go male? I yes. Went, I went female. I'm in a relationship. This is not like a, this is like a deep tissue thing, I think. Right. Why You're in a relationship. You should have gone male. Tissue, I know. Is that fucked up? Deep tissue male. I will get... change. Does your girlfriend know you got a female well, I think rub we down talked about up? it. You think you talked about it? We that means did. you haven't. We haven't yet. Well, <laughs> there's no shot you talked about it. <laughs> Okay, no, I'll change it to me. I just thought that I thought I would get clown for doing a dude. Mm -mm, and the name no. of it is Pause Massage. It's called Pause Massage. Yeah. So like P A W S? No, P A U S E. Oh, Fuck. that's gay. You were gonna That's what I'm saying. I was stuck. <laughs> oh, this is that yeah, changes everything. If it's yeah. pause massage. Catch 22. Yeah, wait. <laughs> is it a is it a nice establishment or is it a shady, I, seedy I think establishment? It's nice. Can we look up pause massage? So I'll, I'll switch to male. No, ask if ask for a lesbian woman. 
That would be best case scenario. Best case scenario. Yeah, yeah, middle it. Mm -hmm. My biggest fear. Then have to call and switch to mail. That'll be call right now and switch to mail. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Go to the one star review. Maybe they won't show. Wait, there's a KB that reviewed it. <laughs> Booked my husband's massage about two weeks in advance. Provide all the information. Didn't look over the intake form. Mm, a lot of ones. Oh. Massage by beginners. Faulty booking system. Well, the people who, if you don't, people who loved it aren't going to review it. Switch to mail right now. Mm -hmm. But like, ask ask if it's like weird. Like, do you th ask if your girlfriend would care? <laughs> <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, man. Like, this is a bit, this could be the end of your relationship. Wait, is she getting one too? Yeah. Wait, is she? No, it's just me. Oh, switch. You've got to gotta mail. go, mail. Yeah, I do. Big titty. That's my. That's what I do when I'm nervous. Now, big titty Todd. Big titty Todd. Big titty Todd. That's like what was the was it Forrest Gump? She's like, I want to go far, far away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big titty Todd. Big titty Todd. Oh God. I hate it when you call. Thank you for choosing Paul's Massage River North. This is Jesse. Hi, I have a rub scheduled for tomorrow and was wondering if I could make an altercation. Um, and what is the first thing I'm train on the appointment? Kyle Bauer, B A U E R. Altercation. And what would you like to do? Um, I think I scheduled a female. Could I switch to a male? You thought about it. Yes, you can. Is, I think you think that's Are, the right decision. Keep it at six p.m. Yes, it's just that you, with a girlfriend, you think that's the right move. Honestly, oh. if did, did you ask her if she's okay with a male therapist? I think, but I don't. I don't. I, yeah, I don't. I might not have. So <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest with you. I have had women walk out. <laughs> because he didn't ask, and I have had men walk out because the wife didn't ask. Is it a complete yeah. surprise? Well, it's, uh, it's for you. It's for me. Um, <laughs> it's for you? Yes. Hmm. So I should probably go male. If you're comfortable with a male therapist, sure. Yeah, the yeah if, that, if the one's open. Yeah, MRI is amazing. Oh. He'll, he'll take great care of you. Um, he's actually athletic on the side. He's a boxer. So Ooh. when you tell him where to get, he'll completely understand. He's been in the sports massage world for a very long time. Perfect. Let's rock with him. Okay. Okay. And so, yeah. So can I count this as your confirmation, Paul? Because I'm yes. actually getting ready to call you. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I will confirm your appointment for 6 p.m. with MRI at our River North location. And once we hang up, you'll get a confirmation text message confirming everything we discussed. And I'll see you soon. Uh, right on. Thank you. No problem. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. I've done a 180. That's so gay. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting oh, pause massage with athletic. Amaron, who's a boxer on the Amaron, who's very athletic. Yeah. See what I'm saying? You tell him. Fuck. I think this is like this is more like you're meeting more Amaron at pause massage, yeah. and the the U in pause is a pause button, dude. Anywhere you want to get, just let him know. He'll get. That's Anywhere what I'm saying. They did the, every option. They made it. They can did that see, on purpose. Can we almost. see the uh, the fellas? Um, I, I oh my god! <laughs> Wait, go back. This does look nice. No, look at this. Go, go down. Wait, wait, what? Go down. Look at her. What you mean? You're getting that, dude? No, this is a body thing. That's that's. Oh my god! I'm not. That's a facial. That looks like that's a facial. That's what I got. That's what they lulled went, me. They went into... inside of your mouth. Oh, I didn't see the finger in the mouth. Hell <laughs> that's no. all that I can see. Oh my god! That looks like a clockwork orange. This is sexual. See, where's Amaron? CBD oil. I thought that said Voldemort, not okay. Valentine. Stand to Sean. Amariah. Amariah. Oh, Amariah. Photography and boxing. Nah, he looks good. Okay. Okay. He's about to fuck you up, bro. Yeah, yeah. he is. You're well, about to get the most... Oh, he's such an athlete. He's going to pick you up, put you down like a Spin you like shaker. pizza crust. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> fuck this. There's no right option. You, if, know, you know he's six five. Have you ever gotten you know, a massage he's... before? Uh, I got in like an athletic one from a, a lesbian. Mm -hmm. It was like, all right, yeah. Oh, this is gay. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, big titty talk. Big. Titty. All right. God bless.